Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Asse. I'm looking fantastic. Beautiful regrowth spots. I'm a bit red on my neck because I've just got out the shower and my eczema always kind of flares up from the heat. But I thought I would do a fun uh, video today because I wanted to... I saw Jamie Genevieve posted a video doing a 90s makeup tutorial and I kind of wanted to play around and make myself look 90s as all hell. I have an inspo picture. Oh hell yeah, it's posh. Woo! -hoo. Anyway, so I'm going to kind of like play on some of the trends that were trending in the 90s. I wish I was um, alive for more of the 90s because I don't really remember being there at all. Um, but if you'd like to see how I turned myself into somewhat of a 90s uh, supermodel, then just keep on watching. So, oh, I want to use that as well. Actually, no, 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 no. Getting distracted. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows. I mean, let's be honest, we all know that the 90s brow was uh, one third of the size of what my eyebrows are right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the alternate 90s brow, which is like the super bold, dark, fluffy brow, um, which was kind of a trend more in the model industry. But I think that's a bit more realistic for, for what I do, you know? So I'm going to brush them up. So I've got my super dark um, eyebrow pencil here from Essence. And I'm going to fill in mostly at the bottom so that it's more structured at the bottom. And then I'm going to use gel to kind of flick out the top. Just gonna go with my tinted brow gel to really fluff them up. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna take some concealer. <gasps> And just carve out the underneath side of the brow so like the structures at the bottom of the brow and the top's like super fluffy and bedraggled whoa whoa that's intense we are good it's fine okay so i'm gonna set the concealer that's on my eyes before it creases too badly with some powder um, what I was seeing when I was looking through like reference pictures for 90s makeup was like most of the time it was kind of like a soft but kind of grungy brown smoky eye which is very cool very up my alley yeah this powder is very dark for my skin as you can see it's like basically providing a transition color so I use this to set the base of my makeup and like lay down a transition shade onto my eyelid before I start doing any blending with eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to be for my eyes using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes. Mine's a mess. Um, just because it's got some really nice uh, cooler toned deep browns. I'm going to try and stay more towards the cooler toned browns. Um, I think what I'm going to start with is just applying um, like a chocolate brown shade all over my lid like I'm just gonna place it first and then I will proceed to like blend everything out and make sure that it's super seamless I'm also gonna set out the shape of the makeup I'm gonna do at this step as well because I do want it to be fairly cat eyed shape. I know it looks crazy now but it's got a lot more work still required. Okay so I've got my basic shape. I'll zoom you in a bit more. It's not even but my eyes are not even so I'll try and work around that as we go. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to I think I'm going to this is fine. I'm going to jump into this shade. 
and slowly start buffing out the edges of the shape that we just created. Trying not to take it too high up towards the brow. I'm going to clean up this edge with a wipe later, so I'm not concerned about dragging it too far down. With my fluffier brush, I'm just going to jump into one shade lighter than the color I've been using, um, just to very lightly buff over everything that I've done on the edges. I know this, this darker patch looks very patchy now, but I'm going to go over it with like a, a shimmer shade, so... I'm not concerned about it at the moment. I'm just gonna go grab a wipe. Okay, I'm probably not gonna leave the lines as sharp as I've just cleaned them up now, but um, I just was getting a bit distracted by all the fallout so that needed pogo. Okay, so I think the shimmer shade, because I want something quite deep as well, is probably gonna be this guy. I'm gonna pop some of that on and just quickly see if it's the shade that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna wipe away the full out because it was quite a bunch. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is kind of run my brush over these harsh lines that we created because I'm not vibing with them. What I'm gonna start doing, I think, is dotting on kind of like a smoky wing. So I'm gonna take the deepest brown in the eyeshadow palette, it's almost black actually and I'm gonna very roughly just start smudging out where I would usually place eyeliner there is a lot happening outside considering we're supposed to be in self-isolation I do say so myself and you can see how much that lifts the eye already and I'm just gonna keep building and smudging and building and smudging okay so I've got some I've popped on some mascara and I'm, I've got some eyelash glue drying because I'm putting on eyelashes. Can you believe it? While that eyelash glue is getting tacky, I was looking at the pictures and not many people in the 90s kind of wore any highlights. It wasn't really a concept yet. Um, so I'm not going to do any highlighting today except for the fact that I'm going to use a little bit of my Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter just as a, like a prep. So my skin will be glowy without any highlighter so this is just going underneath my base routine so I just popped a little bit on the high points of my cheeks kind of popping it anywhere where you want some glow to show through from underneath your foundation and I put on so much that this is basically gonna go all over my face is she the tin man yet boom 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 are they on properly no definitely not do I care no because I'm not going anywhere uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of my black eyeliner pencil just on the inside here it kind of connects the lashes to the eyelid okay whatever it is what it is alright so my skin's super shiny like the tin man I can't tell if I'm out of focus or if my eyes are watery which is probably a bit of both. I'm going to use a combination of two foundations. My Hydro Coton Foundation Powder Finish from Color Caramel, which is like an eco-friendly foundation. And then I'm going to add in a bit of my Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Classic Beige. This is a bit too dark for me. This is a bit too light for me, so mix them together. I'm going to mix it all over my face with a brush first, and then I'll go over with a sponge. Okay. I'm going to conceal again with my LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Conceal. And then I'll spot conceal any other spots with something that's a bit more closer to my skin tone. The reason I'm using so a concealer that's so light is because the only like highlighting they did looked like it was concealer based and not highlighter based. And for my spot concealing, I'm just going to take my Fabo Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer, which is running here, you know. 
Okay, I think before I set anything, I'm gonna go back to underneath my eyes. Um, and when I was looking at pictures, they had, a lot of them had very low dropped smoky under eyes. Um, if some of it was intentional, but also because I don't think that the concealing app was a thing really at either. So either they would have like really dark smoky under eyes or they would kind of just leave concealer off underneath the eyes. And you can see I've kind of done that. So directly under the eye, I haven't really placed any concealer. So I'm gonna go in with that same liner brush I was using with the dark brown and I'm gonna dip into that chocolate shade and just start really, really close up underneath the lash line, connecting it almost to the wing. And then without adding any new product, I'm taking the blending brush I used for the upper lash, upper lid, and I'm gonna start smoking out that color. There is still product left on the brush as well, so it works in blending out the deeper shade. And then if I've taken it too low down, I'm just going to take my foundation brush and tap over the bits that I feel like have gone too low. But it kind of fits the, the like grungy nature of 90s makeup. It's kind of just it's all a bit messy and smeared. And that's uh, definitely something that I'm channeling right now with this makeup. I'm gonna run up around. Mm, yeah, a brown eyeliner just through my waterline. And then I'm gonna go quite heavy with the mascara on the lower lash line as well because those like thick, clumpy, spidery lashes were very much so a trend. Okay, I think I'm gonna quickly just dab a bit of powder underneath my eyes. I don't want it to move, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna pop up and I'll walk my highlight. And I know I said I wasn't gonna highlight earlier. What I'm just gonna do, I think, is just gonna pop a smidge on the inner corner of my eyes. And honestly, on my finger, I'm just gonna take a doop on my nose. I'm gonna take my contouring powder from my Essence Contouring Duo palette. This is really pigmented, so just like do like a tiny dab. And I'm just gonna take that super lightly under the jawline. I'm going to add bronzer, so I'm keeping it quite light. I'm not going to do any of my forehead. I'm going to drop it down the side of the nose. A little bit under the lip. A little bit under the jawline. And then what I saw, a tip that I also saw Jamie Genevieve do, was she takes her contour and drags it out from the eyes onto the temples so it kind of makes a cohesion between your eye makeup and your face makeup which i thought was quite quite a cool trick um blush i'm going to use not like a pink tone blush i'm going to use a very orange tone blush so i'm going to use this side of the smudge blush duo in the shade rubies and i'm just going to take that on a really big brush so it gives me Control of only putting on a small amount of blush at a time. And because it's quite warm toned, it also kind of serves as a bronzer. So it's easy to be able to drag it all the way back up and kind of disguise the contour within the blush. So I'm just going to take some around the top of my head. Okay, 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 okay. I think, I think what I'm going to do 
as a last and probably the most critical step is the lips and I think this is what's gonna make make it look 90s um, I don't have a dark pencil so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eyebrow pencil I used earlier which is a little bit dark <laughs> and I'm gonna outline my lips and then I'm gonna blur it out and then I'm gonna put on a lighter lipstick so let's see how this transpires Shading in the outer corners. Okay, that's my voice gone. This is like the ultimate 90s trend. Besides the skinny eyebrows. I'm slightly overdrawing the top. <laughs> I like it already in all honesty. And then I've got my Wet n Wild lipstick which is like a really f light nude. Oh Jesus. I'm just blending the lighter lipstick into the darker lipstick. Oh, I actually love it. I love it. I think the last finishing touch I'm going to do is a little bit of gloss. I lost my gloss. Where is my gloss? Oh, this is in a dark shade. This is in the shade so into it, which is like a bit annoying because it's not clear, but it does suit this look as well. I'm just going to put it right in the center. Oh, I'm feeling 90s, guys. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I just need to look better generally. The makeup is done though, on, on a positive note. With the roots, gotta have the roots showing, gotta have the roots on display. My favorite thing about lip gloss is how your hair just gets stuck in it. I wanna go to a 90s dress up party now. Um, after lockdown ends, can we have a 90s celebration, people? All right, so this is the finished look. Stoked. I think the next one I'm going to do is a 60s. In fact, I might do a whole era series. I've been saying that for a long time, but I have never really got around to it because it does require some research and some skill. So I think I'll get around to that seeing as I have a million hours on my hands at this current stage of uh, history. I think everyone does. Sounds like someone's standing in another room. Okay, so I'm going to be going. I will see you guys in another video very soon because this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing. I think I might do a lot of like shorter, three minutes tracked tutorials. So not like long talk throughs because obviously this was quite long. Um, it's just easier for me to do my makeup, plug in my um, earphones and just bang out something really quickly. But I had fun doing this and I will chat to you guys again soon. Bye.